Have you seen our previous video with the topic, Ways to Increase Your Lazada Online Store Traffic? Kung hindi pa, please go back to our last two videos before you continue watching. Dahil sa video na ito, I will be discussing yung item number 5 pa rin natin in increasing our Lazada store online traffic with the use of CEM or Customer Engagement Management. I'd like to commend Lazada University's learning and development team, by the way, dahil just last month, nirevamp po nila ito. And looking at it, this is more streamlined, detailed yung analytics compared to the old UI or user interface. Hello everyone, you Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how you can be successful in your online selling, I give tips, best practices, tutorials, and other interesting stuff in my channel. So please consider subscribing and paki-click ang bell notification para updated kayo sa aking mga bagong videos. Sa ating previous video, no, lalo na yung ways to increase your Lazada online store traffic, I did not see any comment about your suggestions on topic that you want me to discuss covering yung five ways in increasing your store's traffic. So I guess we have covered everything in there except of course yung pang fifth item natin, yung feed and yung CEM. So that is what we're going to discuss today in our video. If you want to know kung ano ang CEM, ano nga ba yung features niya, ano yung benefits, and would you like to see yung hands-on experience to navigate it, please don't forget to thumbs up this video and continue watching. So ano nga ba ang CEM? Ang CEM po, it stands for Customer Engagement Management. Ito po ay isang chat feature that allows Lazada sellers to engage with customers directly to drive business objectives. Okay, so yan po ang CEM. And ano nga ba yung business objectives natin? Of course, ang business objectives natin is ang kumita, syempre, to drive traffic, conversions, and increase sales. So yun po usually yung ating mga business objectives bilang seller ng Lazada. Let me highlight though dun sa mga na-mention ko kanina lang yung conversions because having good conversion rate is the foundation of high sales volume. So dahil nabanggit ko naman na ang conversion rate, isisimplify ko na lamang po sa ating tutorial kung ano nga ba ang meaning ng conversion rate. So by definition po sa e-commerce, ang conversion rate, ito po yung bilang ng visitors mo sa store mo na bumibili for a specified time period. Okay, again, ito po ang the number of visitors sa iyong store na bumibili for a specific, specified or specific time period. So i-highlight ko lamang po yan dahil... For sure, yung conversion rate na yan ay nadaanan na natin sa ating mga tutorials. And of course, madadaanan pa rin natin yan very soon sa ating Lazada Seller Beginner's Guide Series. Okay? So, ano nga ba ang beneficyo or benefits of using the CEM? Ayan. So, if, uh, if your goal really is to increase traffic and convert Convert sales, of course, gamitin natin si CEM. So according to Lazada University, this by the way is also available sa Lazada University. You may also check this out. So according to Lazada University, may tatlong uh, benefits ang paggamit ng CEM. So you can reach out to buyers and followers. It drives additional traffic to your products. Number two, 
it reaches out to potential customer groups via product recommendations, reminders, and vouchers. And last one, of course, is so ang paggamit daw po ng CEM is it has a very clear customer segmentation that allow for customization of messages to cater each scenario's target audience. Ayan. Anyway, mamaya papakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano natin i-navigate. I will also give you an example paano siya gamitin. Uh, itong pangatlong item natin, yung sinabi dito na customer segmentation, yung customization, makikita natin yan later on para mas maintindihan nyo. Okay? So, to sum it up, ang objective naman talaga ng, ng paggamit ng CEM is to engage yung customers natin and in engaging sa ating customers, it would lead to driving an action. No? Anong mga action to? It will remind our buyers to leave a review after purchase. It will share promotions na meron ka. Ano yung mga offerings na meron ka sa Lazada store? And kung meron kang new arrivals, ayan, ang CEM, isa din po yan sa gagamitin natin. Uh, if you would want to share yung mga new arrivals mo. And of course, it will remind your visitors also to follow your store. Okay? So let's head on to the screen. Let me share it to you. Paano nga ba i-access itong CEM sa ating Lazada Seller Center? Okay, so this is what our CEM page or Customer Engagement Management page looks like. Sa isang store na to, naka-active po siya. So meaning eligible po tayo na gumamit ng Customer Engagement Management. So paano pumunta sa page na to? All you need to do is go to the left, uh, left part, the left side ng inyong Lazada Seller Center and then look for Engagement Center. Kapag kinlik nyo po itong Engagement Center, you will see here sa ibaba meron po siyang feed last live, tsaka customer engagement. So to access your CEM, all you need to do is click on customer engagement. Ayan. So nandito na tayo. So it's the same page sa nakita natin kanina po lamang. So eto na yung CEM page natin. And paano nga ba ito kinategorize ng Lazada sa customer group? o yung kailangan nating i-target na mga customers. So, ginawa po nila dito, uh, they categorize it into four. Yung potential buyers, yung purchase customers, loyal customers, and of course, yung customized group. Yung customized group, depende na po yan sa iyong seller on how you are going to group your stores, uh, buyers, or yung mga potential customers. So, dadaanan lamang natin itong customized group, but we will be focusing on these three, yung potential buyers, purchase customers, and of course, yung loyal buyers. So, as you can see here, itong potential buyers natin, may data tayo dito, no? Sinabi dito na meron tayong 26,133 potential buyers. And I think I don't need to explain na since it's self-explanatory namang po ang definition kung ano yung potential buyers. no? So, yung mga maaaring maging buyer sa ating Lazada store. So, to engage yung customer using the CEM under the potential buyers, here are the things that you can do dito sa category na to. So you can engage sa new store customers, add to cart customers, yung unpaid, tsaka yung mga nag-wish list na customers. So yung new customers, meron po tayo dito, sinabi dito na meron tayong 26,133 na customers na hindi po nag-place ng orders pero binisita po yung store mo in the last 365 days. Okay, and then add to cart customers naman, sabi dito, sampu sa customers mo yung nag-add to cart ng items lang. Tapos hindi nila final yung kanilang purchase. 
Samantalang itong unpaid order customers, of course, ito po yung mga nag-place ng order tapos hindi rin final. It's either gumamit po sila ng wallet or walang laman yung wallet or they use uh, mga dragon pay. No? Um, if you remember, kapag nagpa-process kayo ng order, meron tayong unpaid tab. So, ito po sila na type of customers. And of course, yung wish list customers, yung mga naka-add to wish na mga add to wish list na mga type of customer. Okay? So if you wanted to target of course yung potential buyers mo to drive an action for them to place an order or to add to cart yung mga or to finalize their orders na naka-add to cart, then all you need to do is select each lamang po dito. So as you can see, may ano siya dito like when we click on engage with vouchers Kapag kinlik po natin yan, then it will bring you to this page wherein you have here, you can select a voucher, you can offer them a voucher, diba? then you can also add products. And if you notice dito, meron na tayong automatic na message content. So hindi na po kayo manganga pa kung ano yung itatype nyo mag auto push notification to kapag sinubmit na natin. Katulad nitong message content niya, discover great deals at our store. We have new items that you may like. Visit our shop to get first dibs on new arrivals. Okay, so for add product, you can actually add a product right here. I-click lamang po niya. Punin nyo yan or select a voucher then. And of course, andito yung basic information um close lang natin yan like ano yung target mo dito of course is yung mga bago bagong visitor or mga bagong followers mo sa iyong store yan po yung engagement name niya so i-click lamang to nating add product no with this one you can select i would suggest since this is uh the message content itself is showing you na meron kang new arrivals, then you can definitely click on add product. So, I'm not sure what's happening right now, but I think nag-glitch pa po yung ating CEM. But when you add product here, nakita nyo naman kanina, no? I-ano lang natin to. Add product. Ayan. Okay, so i-refresh nyo lamang po no? since kaka-roll out lang to ng user interface na ito, that is pretty normal kapag nag-implement po tayo ng new UI or new user interface. So may lag po talaga siya, so kailangan po talagang tingnan ng taga-backend yan pag may mga ganyang issue. So if you notice, nung kinlik kayong add product, then it will show you a list of your products na meron sa store mo. So select nyo lamang po. Um, it says here you can select a maximum of four. So you can select anything here ng apat na yan and then just hit OK. Okay, and then kapag sinubmit mo to, ayan, kapag sinubmit mo, so sabi dito sa preview on the right side, the message will be sent to the target customers through chat channel. So magpo-push notification po yan sa kanilang Lazada app. So, magpo-push siya, mag, mag, uh, magpa-pop up po yan ng may new message sa kanilang Lazada app, um, of course, from your store. Okay? So, balikan lamang natin itong engagement center uli. So, that is basically under nung potential buyers and then new store customers. And then, same goes to add to cart customers, no? So, kung nakikita nyo, may sampu tayong customers na naka-add to cart at hindi finalize or hindi pa nila na-place yung order. So, if you would want them to take action at i-place na nila yung order na yan, then all you need to do is click on set up purchase reminder. Kapag kinlik po natin yan, so same process. Ayan, same process po siya and then meron siya ditong uh, content na check out soon, items in cart may run out, don't miss out. Okay, if you wanted to add more if, if, or if you wanted to customize your message content here, feel free to do so. Pwede naman po yan. Okay, and then same process, of course, who does not love vouchers, no? I would suggest that when you use the CEM, be ready, uh, create a voucher then um, para maibigay nyo yan together.
together with the chat message na isesend mo using the CEM. Okay? Ayan. And then, we're not gonna go through the whole thing kasi, ayan po, kung titingnan nyo, okay, ayan siya. So, depende po yan when is applicable. Kasi sa store na to, uh, may, may sampu, ganyan. So, depende po yan sa data ng iyong um, Lazada store. So, I would suggest na you if think of um, a category in here na you think that can generate or can convert um, a sale dito sa iyong customer group. Okay, for purchase customers naman, dadaanan lang natin to dahil ayoko namang humaba yung ating tutorial. So, for purchase customers, click lamang po natin yan. So, meron din ditong mga targeting um, option. Like, if you would want to, halimbawa dito sa mga nakabili na sa customers, no, you wanted to choose an action where you would want to recommend products, then you can select recommend products. Dito naman sa mga first purchase customers, you can choose an action here. It's either you engage or mag-provide ka ng voucher or mag-recommend ka ng products na meron ka sa iyong store. And then same thing dito sa um, repeat customers, purchase customers, and customers with receive orders. Ganon din po, uh, all you need to do is just click on whatever is available option that you have in here. Okay? And then for loyal buyers, ayan, meron tayong loyal buyers na 4,826. Then uh, this is actually your followers or yung store followers. So you can choose an action here, same thing. You can engage them with voucher or you can also recommend products uh, that you have available sa iyong, sa iyong store. And then for customized group, uh, with this one, of course, customize mo lamang siya. You just need to click on add new customized group. And then you can custom the group name, yung description niya, and select the selection filter. Okay, so maybe yung iba sa inyo as you are watching this tutorial or this video ay pinuntahan nyo yung inyong engagement center tsaka yung customer engagement para makita nyo kung may CEM nga ba kayo. Uh, this one po, ang CEM, may eligibility criteria po ito. Hindi po ito basa-basa natin nakukuha. May mga metrics po tayo na kailangan imit para mabigyan tayo ng customer engagement management. So katulad po nito no sa ating screen kung nakikita niyo yung Balay Anita. This is the example shop name that we have been working on dito sa ating tutorial. So kung nakikita niyo puntahan lamang natin tong engagement center and then customer engagement. Okay? So access denied tayo. Ibig sabihin hindi tayo qualified sa CEM or customer engagement management. Um, for sure, meron sa inyo dito access denied. So, eto po, anong mga metrics ang kailangan natin i-meet o kailangan natin i-improve para mabigyan tayo ng customer engagement management access. Yung SEM access po, measure po yan ng weekly. So, weekly performance po yan. So, yung mga metrics na kailangan natin i-improve, eto po yung mga sumusunod. Okay, we have same day chat response rate, meron tayong followers, meron tayong seller rating. Okay, so yung same day chat response rate, ang requirement dito, your score must be equal to or higher than 85. Sa followers naman, your number of followers must be equal to or more than 50. Tapos, your score naman sa seller rating mo must be equal or higher than 85. Okay, so pinagtatrabahuan po yan. Pero when you guys receive naman uh, na qualified kayo sa CEM, magna-notify po yan dito sa ating notification center. Mag-aano yan na na qualified kayo. But again, 
at least alam niya na yung basis, ano yung kailangan nating pagtrabahuin bilang Lazada seller, no? Ano yung kailangan nating improve sa ating store para magkaroon tayo or para mag-qualify tayo sa CEM. Okay? Well, aside from improving yung metrics na tatlong to, you can also use CEM by redeeming via coins. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo po sa iba ba, scroll down lamang po nyo. Ang sabi dito, CEM is one of the rewards that can be redeemed via coins. Click on the button above to claim your one-day CEM usage. So this is if meron kayong available na coins. So ito po yung mga coin rewards kapag kayo ay nag-join ng mga challenge pa-challenge ni Lazada, tapos may equivalent reward po yan. Okay, so i-click lamang po nito, sabi dito, alternative, redeem CEM access via coins. So kapag kinlik natin tong redeem now, may pakita ko lang, ano, ayan. So it's loading. It will actually bring you to growth center. Okay, ayan. So kung nakikita nyo dito, o, oh, eto wala pa tayong coins dito. Ayan, wala tayong coins. Tapos, i-zoom out natin to para makita nyo. Okay? So, sana nakikita nyo on the right side. Ito po yung kailangan na coins. So, dapat may 300 coins ka para magkaroon ka ng access to customer engagement. So, malaki-laking coins po yung kailangan. Um, again, yung coins na yan, ni reward yan kapag Uh, sumali kayo dito sa mga challenges kay Lazada. Ayan. Okay? Ayan. Pero, madali lamang naman po gawin um, yung ibang criteria. Dito sa ating engagement center, I would suggest na ang key lamang po dito para mag-qualify tayo is of course, i-meet natin tong tatlong tatlong metrics na qualification and prior to doing this magtrabaho po muna tayo dito sa feed trabahuin po muna natin yung feed natin okay yung feed under engagement center nasa previous video natin yan um inuna ko po talaga yung tutorial natin sa feed dahil utilizing itong feed feature under engagement center will definitely help increase your traffic store your traffic sa iyong uh, Lazada store. So puntahan lamang po ninyo yung ating previous video. Okay? So I guess that is the end of our tutorial today sa ating customer engagement management. I do hope that at the end of this video, eh, may natutunan na naman po tayong panibago on how you are going to engage your customer and increase your sales through traffic and of course, yung conversion rate natin. Okay? So, once again, this is your Yo Mama Bechay. I will see you in my next tutorial. And if you find any value in what this vlog does, please don't forget to thumbs up this video. See you next time. Bye!